How to run a MySQL query using Node.js In our previous lecture, we learned how to connect Node.js to our MySQL database. This time, we will know how to run a query to the database and fetch its result. We will gonna reuse the same application that we've done earlier. And for this example, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna query this student table. And then, get the result and put it in our console. So to do that, what you can do is have a new connection over here. So connection dot query. And it has three parameters. One is the SQL statement. The other one is the value, which is basically a function, and the callback or CB. The CB is actually a optional parameter so at this point you can just add query and then in here the SQL so let's say select from students because the student or rather just student okay so I have two student over here and then the values basically just a function so I have a function Get the error and the result and then what I have here is that I'm gonna throw an error if the error object over here is uh, as a value so same as what we've done here in the database connection you simply have to do this again Okay, and now what we're gonna do is I'll output all of the results in a console. So just here, just type console log and just type result, and pretty much that's it. So if you rerun this and success, what we've done here is get all of this result and put it in our console. And as you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have Emilia Clark, Jericho Rosales, J. Cruz, John Bonso, and that is actually the same on our database. So these are the result and this is the database. And let me change this. So as you can see, it's the same. So now what if I'm gonna select this? So I have this one, select from student where ID is equals to one, which is Stacy Ling. So I'm gonna do that and this is the result. Okay. And when I go back to my Node.js app and change my query from this one, select from student at this where condition where id is equals to one it should get me the exact same result so let's see and there you go so it's the same success we've just added our new connection query and it works so here you can also use aggregate functions so for example i have okay inline and I can get the count and remove this so this is a uh, aggregate function count and as you can see here we have six students so if you want to count out the result you can just do this and then run it again and there you go you now have the same exact uh, result. And that's it.